Spontaneous bacterial peritonitis. What is spontaneous bacterial peritonitis? It is the acute infection of the acidic fluid in a patient with liver disease without another source of infection. Epidemiology of SBP. It has increased incidence in patients with 10 to 25 percent risk of at least one episode per year. 20 percent risk in patients with ascites admitted to the hospital. Pathophysiology. Its pathophysiology is not completely understood, but certain theories suggest increased portal systemic hypertension causes mucosilidema of the bowel wall that increases transmoral migration of enteric organisms into the acidic fluid, impaired phagocytic function in the liver, impaired immunologic activity in acidic fluid. Presentation Number 1. Classic triad Fever abdominal pain and increasing ascites. Presence of all three components in a patient is usually uncommon. Number 2. Symptoms. Fever or chills. Abdominal pain. Abdominal swelling. Fatigue. Malaise. Number 3. Signs abdominal tenderness. Typically diffuse. Can be mild without peritoneal signs. Can be severe with rebound and or guarding. Abdominal distension. Altered mental status from hepatic encephalopathy diagnostics number one obtaining an acidic fluid sample is critical in making the diagnosis acidic fluid assays show cell count look for wbc more than 500 to 1000 cells in cube or neutrophil count more than 250 cells in cube in peritoneal dialysis patients neutrophil count more than 100 cells in cube pH less than 7.34 more common in SBP, acidic fluid gram stain, rarely positive, and culture, serum blood tests, that is WBC, CRP, ESR, are not helpful in making this diagnosis, management, antibiotics, if patient has fever, temperature more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit, or abdominal pain or tenderness. Empiric antibiotics should be given even if neutrophil count less than 250 cells. Cube treatment focuses on appropriate antibiotic therapy. A third generation cephalosporin is the treatment of choice as they are typically effective in covering the three most common isolates from infected acidic fluid that are Escherichia coli, Klebsiella pneumonia, and Streptococcus pneumonia. For example, CIF drinks on 25 mg slash kg up to 2 g daily, Sifidixim 25 mg slash kg up to 1 g Q8. There are also alternate antibiotic choices, Ciprofloxacin 400 mg 4 BD, Levofloxacin 750 mg 4 daily, Piperacillin, Tazobactam 4.5 g 4 TDS, Mertapenem 1 g 4 QD. Imipnim. Silastatin 500 mg for kid. Note, patients with a single episode of SBP should be considered for antibiotic prophylaxis, with norfloxacin, ciprofloxacin or TMP, SMX. Number 2. Albumin infusion. Recommended by American Association for the Study of Liver Disease, ASLD, in specific subgroups with SBP. The benefit of albumin infusion in SBP is not entirely known, although multiple possible mechanisms have been identified. Albumin has been demonstrated to mitigate antotoxemia, block lipoblysaccharide stimulated neutrophil activity, and modulate nitric oxide activity, mitigating systemic visitilation and capillary leak. Presence of any of the following should prompt albumin administration. Serum creatinine more than 1 mg slash DL. Blood urea nitrogen, bun, more than 30 mg slash DL. Total bilirubin more than 4 mg slash DL. Impact of albumin infusion, 25% reduction in renal failure, 20% reducing in mortality. Dose, 1.5 g kg within 6 hours, 1.0 grams, kg on day 3 of treatment. The Guidelines The 2012 ASL Guidelines, based largely on the trial by SORT, et al., recommend that patients with acidic fluid PMN counts greater than or equal to 250 cells slash M3 and clinical suspicion of SBP, 
who also have a serum creatinine more than 1 mg slash DL, blood urea nitrogen more than 30 mg slash DL, or total bilirubin more than 4 mg slash DL should receive 4 albumin, 1.5 g slash kg, within 6 hours of detection and 1.0 g slash kg on day 3. Approach to diagnosis and treatment of spontaneous bacterial peritonitis. On diagnostic paracentesis test result, we will look at acidic fluid DLC and DLC, acidic fluid bacterial culture inoculated at bedside. If the results show that neutrophils are more than or equal to 250 cells per millimeter cube, then we will presume SBP and start therapy with antibiotics and albumin following guidelines. Without further delay for culture results, if culture result is positive, then SBP is confirmed. So we'll narrow antibiotic therapy based on susceptibility results to complete the antibiotic course in 5 days. If culture result is negative, we will still complete the antibiotic course for 5 days. On the other hand, if neutrophils are less than indicated, we will look for signs or symptoms of infection. If they are present, patient will still begin antibiotic therapy for SBP. If they are absent, then we will wait for culture results. If culture is positive despite above negations, we will repeat the diagnostic tap for culture to confirm it again. If culture is negative, no antibiotics are indicated.